On this section, we will learn about loading of data using SQL Server 2019 Big Data Cluster with Spark. On this section, we will learn how to load sample data in the SQL Server Big Data Cluster on Windows and on Linux. After the Bootstrap script runs, your Big Data Cluster has the sample database and HDFS data. The following steps use a Bootstrap script to download the SQL Server database backup and load the data into your Big Data Cluster. We're going to use Scurl to download the Bootstrap script for the sample data. So on the first script, we'll be using this script, the dash O bootstrap dash sample dash db dot command. And then the link we're in, we're going to pull the data. The Bootstrap script requires the following positional parameter for your big data cluster. First, the cluster namespace, the name you gave your big data cluster. SQL master IP, the IP address of your master instance. SQL master SA password, the SA password for the master instance. Knox IP, this is the IP address of the HDFS Spark Gateway. Knox password, the password for the HDFS Spark Gateway. And then we're going to run the script. So with this one on the left, this is the event we're in. This is how the um, downloading works okay and then on the right side tells you the ip address for the sql big data here is working already or online here this denotes that on the right side tells you that the sql server big data is working correctly on the left side tells you how the process of downloading to initialization of the database on Azure happens. Okay, so with the 13.67.88.209. So you can now log in using root and Knox password to get the unified experience in Azure Data Studio. So with this end, you can go with the uh, right side here, try to open it using a root and the Nox password. You're gonna enter the credential, the connection details here. Type the username and then password, of course, and then click connect. Okay, gonna copy this one, my SQL big data to open the Spark. There you are. So this tells you that you have already inside the HDFS.